this up. I don't know what I'm about to do, bro. Right? Welcome people, welcome back to the channel and we're back again with another video. On today's video, I'm going to explore Chapultepec Park, I believe it's called, which is a park that's bigger than the American park. I actually can't remember the name and I'm actually so embarrassed that I don't remember the name of the biggest park in America. But, but yeah, so today I'm going to explore the park. I believe it has three sections. There's a museum, there's a zoo you can go to. Uh, they actually have a boat ride that you could take. I believe it's 60 pesos, which is under three pound or under four dollars. So this is my last day in Mexico City before I go back to Playa del Carmen. So I'm just gonna show you guys around this beautiful park. So again, if you come to this park and you go with a group, make sure you stick together because this park is so huge. So it's very easy to lose your friends in this park. So make sure you stick together. Hola, hola. Inglaterra, welcome to Mexico City. ¿Cómo te llamas? Chrissy. ¿Cómo? Chrissy. Lucy. Chrissy. Lucy. Yes. Hermanos. No, pero es un chocorrón. Oh shade, oh shade, oh shade. Hey, are you man? Gracias, gracias. Gracias, gracias. All right, so cool. So that was fun. So you got this little big, you got this big monument here. It kind of reminds me of Athens in Greece. Like you got this big monument here. I don't know what it represents, but it's very, very, very huge, spectacular place. Take a nice photo. Let's see if you can get this here. Yeah, so this could be a perfect meeting spot if you and your friends get lost. But yeah, definitely if you're coming with friends, try and stick together. So although it's outside, you are still required to wear a mask, uh, which is a bit difficult, you know, because it's such a beautiful day. The breeze and the air is very good, but you can't enjoy it. So I would have thought because we're outside in such a big open space, I would be allowed to take my mask off. but. I understand we are in this current situation, so you have to wear a mask despite being in this massive, massive park. So over here, we can see we've got some vendors over here. So we're gonna see if we can support a few shops. You've got foods, you've got masks, uh, you've got drinks, you've got glasses, sweets, you've got tortas, you've got tacos as well. So as you know, my favorite taco is beef taco. So if I can, I'll go and look for a beef taco to get. Alright, so I found a face painting joint. I haven't had my face painted since I was probably like six years old or seven years old. And to get your face painted is actually 10 pesos, which is about 20p or 30 or 40 cents. So I'm gonna get my face painted here, 10 pesos. And we're gonna film the process of getting my face painted. I'm gonna get this one, this one done. Again, I haven't had my face painted since I was six. So I think I'm getting my face paid as a tiger. Uh, in this way is the mirror, you can see. 
Finished already? Yes. Oh my gosh, that was quick. <laughs> Where? Where's the mirror? The pink. Oh my, that was quick. That was like less than a minute. Oh my, it's face painting. Ten, that was one minute. Very, very quick. <laughs> yeah. Yes, gracias. Thank you very much. Gracias. Thank you. So yeah, I got my face painted. Now I'm going to see what other businesses I can support in this uh, big, big park. But yeah, this face painting took literally less than a minute to do. So it doesn't take a lot of time to get your face painted. It's actually a nice family day out. Again, you can spend literally the whole the whole day here. You get tattoos, you get toys, you get drinks, you can eat cockroaches, you can eat crickets, you can have ice cream. I'm not sure if you're allowed to cycle in this park, but I see kids cycling over here. But yeah, there's so many stuff. They got candy floss, they got popcorn, they got so many different things that we can have here. So here I'm seeing 10 pesos for popcorn, I believe. I believe it's 10 pesos for popcorn. I believe it's 10 pesos here and we can have it. Is it 10 pesos for popcorn? 10 pesos. Oh, gracias. Uh, 10 pesos are 25. Uh, 10 pesos. This is with caramel, 20 pesos. Uh, 10 pesos uh, popcorn please. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get popcorn now for 10 pesos which is very very cheap as well. In London you probably pay a pound for this which is like a dollar and a half so a very good place. Gracias. Thank you. Mimi, bueno. So this is salt popcorn, very very tasty. They have the, the sweet one as well, they also got caramel popcorn you can have. But I went for the salty one, 10 pesos. But today I have around 100 pesos on me, so I'm just trying to see how much stuff I can buy with 100 pesos on me. Even if you don't want to buy anything, they got like a nice sensory garden if you're into sensory stuff. Or if you like to just to look at plants and flowers. Got very beautiful flowers here that you could just chill and just stare at. Like I know there's a lot of people that just love looking at flowers. It makes them feel much better, more calm, more at ease. So you don't have to buy anything. You can just chill in the park, have a picnic with friends and family, or go and look at the flower. The candy floss here is good too. Mm. So in this park as well, as I mentioned earlier, they've got an area where you can get a paddle boat as well. I think it's 60 pesos. But I've just realized that we haven't got enough time. Again, I'm flying from Mexico City back to Playa del Carmen in a few hours, so I don't think I'll have enough time, unfortunately, to ride this paddle boat, but it's so cheap. It's dirt cheap. I can't believe how cheap it is. So I will give you guys a show of what it kind of looks like. Apparently the blue boats are the better ones and you get life jackets as well. So if you're not a confident swimmer, um, you can get a life jacket as well, all for 60 pesos. I'm very annoyed at myself that I didn't plan my time properly. I would have really loved to do this, but I should be coming back to Mexico City in a few months. So I'm definitely gonna come and do this activity when I come back. So there seems to be some entertainment over there. I'm gonna fast and be one of them neighbors that look at everything. I wanna go over there quickly and see what kind of entertainment they get going on. Maybe I might get involved if I can, but as you know, if it's salsa, I ain't getting involved in that. But if it's something simple, maybe I might get involved. So let's see what kind of entertainment they've got going on over here. <laughs> I don't know how I ended up here, bro. <laughs> you set me up, lad. I don't know what he's saying. Me vas a competir contra México. Una, una, un chavo de papayoso de aquí. Tú, güey, ven, sí, sí, sí. Tienes cara de metiche, güey. I've got a set up. I don't know what I'm about to do, bro. ¿De aquí? ¿De qué jaula? Te presento. Él es de aquí. ¿De dónde, güey? Fiscali. Fiscali. Aguas, ¿eh? Roba llantas. Ah, no, no, no. 
Ah, no, no, no voy a decir, un brother. traductor, un traductor. ¿Quién? ¿Quién habla inglés? ¿Tú, gordo? Antes de algo chismoso. ¿Tú, tú, hablas, ¿Tú hablas bien español? ¿Tú hablas bien español? Poquito. ¿Me traduces a con tu esposo? ¿A que le traduzcas? ¿Es Shane? Él se llama Shane. Ah, pero le, tra le traduce lo que yo diga. ¿eh? I don't know what he's saying, bro. I don't know how bad it looks here, bro. I'm going to go to San Poteco, que me aviento. A ver, alguien que hable bien inglés. ¿Quién? No, tú. ¿Cómo te llamas? Renata. Renata. ¿Por qué no la casa? Renata. Ah, que Renata. Este. Renata, ¿y tú? Ushen. Ushen. Yes. Ushen, ¿y tú? David. David. ¿Es quién es David? Yo. David, güey. ¿Quién es David? El que pensaba volvía al pendejo. No, no, no. ¿Y tú qué más va a dar un Vamos a dar una vela para que te adoremos. Guadalupe, ya no tiene nada de ver. So yeah, unfortunately the guy was taking too long. I really wanted to dance with the crowd, but he was taking too long. I think he was saying a lot of commentary, a lot of jokes. But yeah, I was looking forward to showing the Mexicans my little two-step. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, I've got to leave now. I've got to go to the airport, head back to Playa del Carmen. But this park is so huge, so I don't even know where the exit point is. Yeah, man, it's a shame that I couldn't do my little two steps to make the crowd happy. I got all, I had all the balls and guts to go into the centre. I was ready to dance, get the crowd clapping for you guys to see a little bit of content. But yeah, man, unfortunately, I have to go to the airport now, so I won't be able to show you guys my little two step. Although you would have saw my little two step when I went to Topito, but you won't be able to see my two step here. Earlier in the vlog, I said I wasn't sure if you could ride your bike in the, this park. But you can actually you can ride your bike in this park. They have a lot of bike lanes, very spacious. Um, again, so there's many things you could do. Maybe go around. There's a lot of different attractions that kids could play on. I believe there's a little water fountain as well. So definitely visit this park if you have some spare time in Mexico City. I don't know what happened here, but as you go along the park, you see that there are many, many trees. Like it's either been chopped down or I don't know. I've never actually seen a root of a tree, which is quite amazing. So I'm not sure if they've been chopped down or I'm not sure if something has happened to them or I'm not sure if there was an earthquake or anything that happened as to why these, there's a lot of trees that are actually down. But if you go to the park, you can see a lot of these big trees here. Here, look, there's another one here that's actually cut and I don't know why. It was a shame that a lot of these trees have been cut down. I don't know if they've been cut down to for to make money or I don't know if they've been cut down for paper, but it's a shame. I know there's a lot of trees out here, but look, look, there's another one here. Yeah, I think it's a shame that all of these trees have been cut down, man. But nevertheless, make sure you visit this park when you come to Mexico. The park is also good as well if you want to go on a, like a little marathon, a little mini marathon, or if you want to practice for a marathon or if you want to get some steps in but it's very good if you want to go jogging very good a lot of trees a lot of high branches a lot of high trees very very refreshing very fresh good place to go jogging it's not i feel like jogging in a park is much more better than jogging on the street it's much more better more refreshing more clear you hear birds chirping you see a lot of trees see a lot of people happy see a lot of families as well so i would say definitely come to this park if you want to run, if you want to chill, if 
you want to hang with family the park's so cool like like even just sitting here sitting right here my fingers are black because of the uh, face pain but just sitting right here reading a book is so comforting just so comforting or just like most people will look at the stars at night and just chill but like just looking at the sky and just relaxing and reading a nice book or reading a nice novel is perfect in this park and because it's so huge it's not crowded like you could literally just sit here right here be at peace meditate pray anything you want to do you can do in this park you can cycle you can jog you can run you can chill with family you can have ice cream you can have popcorn you can have candy floss you can have alcohol ice lolly so many things you can do at this park so make sure you come to this park when you come to mexico city it is huge it's massive you cannot walk this entire park in a whole day you have to do it in like a few days but again if you have friends i don't even think google maps would work here or google location if you got lost so make sure you stick together and make sure you have a good time when you come to this beautiful park in mexico city